Right, so now let's look at manage authorizations. Again, keeping the screen um, quite small so you can read the words on it. Um, part of the process of setting up any one of the, the MTD suppliers is what's called OAuth or external authorization. And what you have to do is you have to tell um, HMRC's computer that you're allowing some third party, in your, this case Sirostratus, it could be anybody else, um, to process data to pass it between you and HMRC. And that's done without giving your password to the third party. And basically, there are various things you can authorize things for. Um, in fact, here we link it to Telegram and Twitter and Google as well. But the, the important things are reading VAT and writing VAT. We separate our authority for reading and writing VAT because we believe that some people with larger accounts departments may wish to have some people who are authorized to find out things about the VAT and other people, a limited number of people, who are actually able to submit the VAT return itself and therefore you can have different users with different levels of authority. Um, there are other authorities, one called Hello World is a test system and then there's various various other things. We, we do deal with all the HMRC APIs which is why they all appear on this page. Um, for test purposes if you're going to do a test um, we enable you to create a test user on the uh, tax people's computer system and that, that, that allows us also to run tests with usernames and passwords. So I, I shall take the username and password um, off here so we can go through what's called the OAuth process because I need to remember those to be able to do that. So let me just put that on pause a sec. So we've just created a test user and we're going to then authorize somebody, a user of the Exedra system, to read VAT records. So we click on there. That then goes, in this case, it's to a test server, but it could be the live server from HMRC. Uh, and that explains here what you're trying to do. Um, and then it goes into a situation where you've got to put in your government gateway number, which everybody already has, um, which I'll put in there. And then also the password, which this password does not go to the MTD suppliers. And that's why OAuth is quite a good system because it stops um, you having to give a generalized authority to a third party. All you do is give authority for the specific thing you want to have happen. So here we go on to the next page, which says do the, the application is wanting permission to, in this instance, look at VAT information, and you can either decide to give authority or not. And then it goes back to our, our servers. When you give authority, it gives authority for 18 months, and once the 18 months are up, if you wish to continue, you're going to have to give authority again. So that's the manage authorizations process. And as you can see from here, it covers, in fact, all of the APIs. We, we I think, are unique in that we deal with all of the HMRC APIs. Uh, other people tend to only deal with one or two of those. But we're dealing with all of them, including um, the Lisa ones, the customs ones, and the individual tax ones as well. And obviously, over time, as these come live, they'll become available through the Sirostratus account in the same way as the VAT MTD is. So well, thank you for looking at this video. And if you want to find out about another aspect of the system, please do uh, look at other of the videos.